I don't think you, you can really prepare for this kind of mission. You sort of have to have the right personality. I think the most important thing we'll learn is how a small crew gets along together when separated from planet Earth. The psychological aspect. How do we deal with that? We're spending a year on simulated Mars to try and help mankind understand what it needs to get to real Mars. What we eat, how we sleep, how much exercise we get, everything about us and our lives, inside and out, is being studied. All right. So this is the main common area of the HAB. It's where we do all of our exercises. We sit at our desk and do the work that we're working on. We have lots of plant growth projects going on. We've got a whole assortment of things that we're growing. We have radishes and lettuces and tomatoes and peas and beans. This is where Cyprian does lots of his science experiments for things and where we process lots of samples that we take on ourselves. You have to be absolutely dependent on the resources that you have. You can't be wasteful in any way, shape, or form. We're going to get to harvest these today. If we can design habitats where spending the rest of your life in them while on the moon or another planet or going out into space, and you'd be happy, productive, healthy, that'd be awesome. And that's kind of uh, the goal at the end of the day. My name is Benjamin Phillip, and my wife is on Mars. One day she calls and says, I got in, and I was like, that's fantastic. And she said, it's a year-long mission. And I said, hold on, oh, okay. She went in at the end of August. It is a NASA-funded Mars Habitat Simulation Mission, where she and five crew members are living inside a dome for a year, not coming out without their spacesuits on. You know, day to day, you, you build a new rhythm, a rhythm that makes sense with the limitations that you have, but the moments when big thing happens, you can't break that rhythm. You don't have the option to just pick up a phone. Because we're simulating being on Mars, we use the longest possible communication delay to Mars. The delay is 20 minutes long. That means no phone calls, no Skype conversations, email only. So far, the most difficult thing has been being away from my friends and family. Our life here is pretty much the same as a crew on Mars. Even if you're tra planning for such a thing, a whole year away from your family, that still takes a lot of consideration. It's a personal challenge for me. I want to see if I can make it through the whole year without, you know, getting on other people's nerves. I actually missed my brother's wedding while I was out here. So I have a sister-in-law that I've never met. 684. I know a lot of people about this. Humans have a need for exploration which is wired deep into them. And we need big goals, big objectives. Because big objectives push us to collaborate extensively and to give the best of ourselves. It's like climbing a mountain. You have days that are harder, the weather is poor, the terrain is treacherous. But the next day the weather is clear, and the walk is lovely, and the view is excellent, and the company is wonderful, and it goes on like that. Times when it's really different are when there are big events, you know, something very happy or very unpleasant and, and you want someone to share it with and there is just no way to actually get in touch. Isolation makes it kind of difficult because you cannot be there for your family when they need you. For instance, during the uh, Paris attacks last November, you cannot even talk to them on the phone because we have no direct communication here. It would not be possible on Mars. I have two ailing parents and an ailing grandparent. I have three friends being treated for cancer, and I wish I were there for all of them. That is my challenge on a daily basis, is to find a way to be there for them. Literally, like being inside a cage, that's very difficult, so I'm always very happy when we can go outside and just walk. We'd like to actually have a sustainable presence on Mars a safe presence on Mars and an affordable one. Space exploration is one of the ways in which people in the world of all cultures, and all creeds, and all philosophies can and will work together peacefully towards a common good. There are so few of these common goods that can unite humanity and space exploration is very easily one of them. <laughs>